My name is Sophia Chen. I'm a senior at Caltech, and I live in Lloyd House. My days usually start around 11, and I usually study a bit before heading off to class. Or If I don't have a class, I usually take one of my projects to lab, or I'll meet with a professor to talk about what I'm working on. I chose to major in electrical engineering. Well, my dad is an electrical engineer. When I was little, he would always get me like little electronic kits that really kind of got me interested in different electronic projects. I love EE because it's really practical. Like it's something that can apply to the whole world from phones to like computers to coding and I really get to see what I'm building and like, you know, see what all of my knowledge is working towards. I guess Kato gives you the option of being very hands-on. Well, this is supposed to be a latching circuit, but it's missing transistors because I didn't replace the one that got blown out there. Professor Chu is probably one of the nicest professors I've met on campus and also one of the most relatable. So my idea was like, Probably like once a term, I'll meet up with him and you know talk about what I'm doing, what classes I'm taking. It's really easy to talk to all the professors here, and you really get to know them. And you know you're interacting with world-class researchers. Caltech offers a lot that I wouldn't have gotten at a bigger school. Besides the classes that I take for my double E major, I'm also taking some fun classes like shop class or cooking class. I like shop because it gives me a chance to work with both like high-tech machines and low-tech machines and if I ever t were to build a device, you know, I can make packaging for it now. Also, just in general, I think it's nice to be know how to, you know, 3D print or laser cut if you have access to those resources. <laughs> so after all my classes, I really look forward to tennis practice because it's a chance for me to, you know, take a break and see some friends and have fun, really. Tennis actually factored quite a lot into my decision because I didn't want to give up tennis and I also wanted to keep competing and keep being on a team. Actually a lot of the schools I applied to were Division I schools. You know, I think I made the right choice. I think Caltech is definitely a way better fit for me and I can play tennis here. You know, I'm close to everyone on the team and so for the first year I was the only team captain. Having the team support me was really awesome. After a while, it just kind of became natural and I realized that, you know, I actually do have some leadership skills. It actually gave me more confidence to go out and try to be a leader in different engineering or Caltech culture. So I was, you know, the team captain, I was automatically number one and I kind of took on the mindset of, okay, you know what, I'm playing these really good girls that I probably won't be able to beat but that's okay because I can just work on things that I really need to work on. You know, they always say you match the level of your opponents, so I definitely got a lot better just by playing people who were way better than me. Having that two hours every day of practice helps me take my mind off of academics, so when I go back, I have a fresh mind, you know, I'm like ready to work again. Tennis can be tiring, but I go straight to dinner right after tennis, so that usually uh, fuels me back up. This year I'm actually taking a Caltech cooking class. It's really fun and it's also a great way to get to know other people in other houses and the other students are also all super smart, like everyone is smart and there aren't that many of us so everyone really gets to know everyone. Sometimes I have classes after dinner, um, otherwise if I don't I'll probably just tr work on whatever sets are due. Sometimes I'll work in my room or sometimes I'll go into one of the lounges we have in Lloyd and work there. Usually I'll take some breaks from work and go play Catan with people or play ping pong in the lounge. <laughs> I usually study until pretty much right up until I go to sleep. I'll usually go to bed around two um, and then get ready for the next day. <laughs>